Hello YouTube, uh, Pipe Smoker Cowboy Chris coming at ya. I know it's been a while. Uh, today's video is um, a it's going to be a VR to my good buddy uh, Ben the Bagged Piper. I know I'm getting kind of under the gun, but uh, um, just kind of, you know, just haven't been really feeling like making videos, but you know, I thought I might as well. Just, um, now, uh, I'm not smoking at the moment because then I also have a yabo, and I'm going to go ahead and do this quick yabo before I get into the VR, and I, and I hope that's okay with you, Ben. Um, uh, I, I'd gotten, uh, this is from cigarbed.com, it's kind of, it's a good way to get, you know, uh, this is my case knife. I don't know much about, I'm not a, I'm not a knife, really, I haven't really been a knife person, or, I've carried, but, um, but anyway, um, but I've, uh, however, uh, Um, I hear my ADHD is kicking in. Okay, um, I figured out that the cigar bed, I was like, oh, and then I, I didn't know what to really compare it to, but then I'm like, wait a minute, it's kind of like eBay for cigars, and I saw, well, this is the second time I've done done this and but now I have a uh, Cigars International which actually this is a part of and they really have some good deals and, and they got a pretty wide selection um, so I had gotten Twenty cigars um, of him. Twenty cigars of uh, Man of War. I haven't tried. I I've been kind of wanting to, and uh, you know. Oh. Their normal hundred dollar wine voucher. I do drink not very often. I do drink wine, but I kind of you know. I think it's one of these. Uh, uh you register the code and and oh, get a hundred dollars off any case of wine priced at a hundred and sixty or more. Yeah, um, these are for alcoholics. I, I'm not an alcoholic, but I could, uh, you know, if I had gotten a whole case of wine, <laughs> I could probably easily become one. Uh, but um, I could take a, I can take or leave alcohol. It just it 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 just depends. Um, I'm just. And it's, and it's just like, you know, pipes and cigars, you know. There are times where, you know, I really don't have time. I also dip. But, you know. Um, but I. It's not like I. I crave for a cigar, but, but, but if I don't. Or a pipe. But if I don't get one, no big deal. I mean. Um, I, th I think I. I dip more than I smoke. But anyway, um, all right, under the VR, um, Ben wants to know what 
if we got any body mods, or what if we modded, or, or, you know, anything like that. Well, I do have some tattoos. Hold on just a minute. I'm going to see if I can. Yeah, okay. Um, I've only got, uh, um, I've got four tattoos, um, um, we okay um now I've got four, but uh, the other two are on my shoulder blades, and I don't think they're going to be too well. And I'm on my GoPro, and I don't have a, uh, I don't have a, a view screen. So, this is my, this one was my very first one. This is my very first one. Now, that was done with a homemade tattoo gun, and, and so, I mean, and you can tell it's not very professional, really looking, but now, however, this one here is professionally done. Now, I was going to get colored in, but I never did, and and I thought, I had a t-shirt of this. It was a red t-shirt, and it, and it was black. It's, the, it's a lo, uh, lion and a tiger, and I, uh, I thought, boy, that, that'd be a neat tattoo, so I went ahead, you know, and I was going to get it colored in, but I never did. And then I'm like, well, I just might as well leave it. And, um, now something else I'm also, I'm not, mo well, I'm modifying an idea. As you, as people, if you've watched me, very long. I'm an amateur radio operator and also a storm spotter and, and I deal with emergency uh, I'm in the emergency services so I deal with like emergency communications also that's kinda goes hand in hand with amateur radio. Well anyway um, I um, when um, my soon-to-be ex-wife uh, wrecked our van, um, my uh, parents sold me their own Nissan Murano, and I was about, I was close to getting radios put put in the in, in that van. Um, but, um, I never got around to that, but, um, now I'm like, I need something, so, uh, I was looking and thinking and trying to figure out, and, um, there's a company, that, 
and I'm drinking some sun tea. Some sun I, sun tea, iced tea. Um, there's a company that makes it the uh, laptop mounts, or what they are, but. Uh, there's somebody here locally and there's somebody in the ham community that he he's got one in his truck well I don't know how they configured it to be set up for the radios because it's it's uh, it's just basically just a, a flat surface and then you put your laptop on there and then you uh, secure your laptop well those, for one thing, um, you don't have to drill any holes. Well, however, I type my vehicle in, and they don't make a specific mount. Which, I don't know why. Um, maybe because Nissan isn't using police or fire vehicles. I don't know. But... came up with a general, just a general amount that I, I would have to drill holes. So, and they're kind of expensive. So I thought, I'm going to the hardware store. And I'm going, I'm going to, so I went to Home Depot and got some, um, pieces and, uh, got some, uh, some, um, supplies. Uh, so I've, I've kind of modded their, their original idea, but however, mine's going to be different, and I, I'm going to see if I can maybe patent it, and, and maybe start actually maybe producing them. And what I did was, um, um, because you know how Home Depot's got that, the, the small pieces of the flat, plain flat aluminum and steel and stuff. Well, so I got one of those, and then I'm gonna cut it to 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 size of my biggest radio that I've that I gotten that I use in my vehicle. And then so then I took that. Then those. Um, then what's gonna happen is. Then I got those uh, flat aluminum balls. The it's the flat, uh, and um, what I'm gonna do is um, use those as the way to mount the radios. Now, because my radios, are, I've got. I have three radios that are in my vehicle. Well, going to be. Um, and they're all different sizes. So it's going to look kind of weird. But I think it'll be alright. So, because um, my... Um, my uh, two meter four forty VHF UHF, it it's not as big as my um, biggest, which is my which is a it it's an it's a high frequency HF rig, um, and so that's the biggest. Well, go go up then and uh, so. I'm gonna have like actually another set of the of those to fit the uh because the the way the two amateur radios are there's two holes on each side and then the mount see the mounts um that's how you can um actually position the radio up and down and 
So, since I'm not using the mounts, I can't just use one set of holes. And so for my two meter, it's gonna have its own. So it's gonna look a little weird. Then I've got my then I've got a uh, my place scanner, and uh, so they're all kind of different sizes. But so then so I took so I took the RAM mount laptop mount idea but I just modded it for my needs and I saved because I think it was like it was like two or three hundred dollars and it's like well you know I can make my own so that's what so that's what I'm going to do so anyway congrats Ben on um uh, I forget how many subs this is. Uh, I think 300 or something like that. Um, but, yeah. So that's what... Uh, so those are my mods. Um, so with that, I'll let you all go. So until the next video, this is Pipe Smoker Calvary Chris. Keep smoking the good stuff. Stay smoky, my friends. And God bless, and we'll see you in the next video.